hello. I am out here in my backyard with Buddha. Just kind of pondering the energy that is um, going on today. Today is Father's Day which is a significant day for me personally. Actually, this date, June 19th, for myself is very significant. It's the day my father died 19 years ago. Back then, it was the day after Father's Day, but that's just how our calendar goes, right? My cat <laughs> came to join in. So what I wanted to share is um, a couple important messages that um, I feel might be helpful for others. We're just coming out, oh, l let me back up <laughs> before I start. Um, Mercury, who has been really working on us mentally and emotionally, but mostly within our mind and our perspective and our thoughts. Our thoughts have been like all over the place recently. Sorry that I'm moving my phone around a lot. Um, Mercury, as of today, is at the fifth degree of Gemini and is officially now out of post-retrograde shadow. And I'm getting a lot of more clarity for myself. However, um, it dawned on me this morning that we have been in this square uh, Mercury, uh, the moon squaring Mercury, which is separating right now. So the energy, that energy is lightening up on us, but that's really where we were all kind of, um, there was a battle going on between the thoughts, what our mind was telling us and what we were feeling. And it can be in any aspect of life. Everybody's journey is different and your Mercury placement and Moon placement are in different uh, areas, locations of your birth chart. Um, trying not to get too technical with the astrology, but really honing in on what we're experiencing and feeling and thinking and what's happening right now. Sorry. <laughs> I just uh, gobbled down some lunch. What's happening right now is that um, we're starting to slowly come out of this very strange, like nebulous fog, um, very strange position of um, not quite understanding what we're feeling or what's happening, what's happening with other people in our lives. Um, and what's been going on, what I've noticed is that there are certain things that each and every one of us needs to see within ourselves, to heal, to clear. And we're being shown a lot of past versions of ourselves in multiple ways, um, either through our own reactions to things or other people playing it out. And this is really ending up ending a big karmic cycle. But more than that, it's helping to liberate those of us who have been working through the energetics and working on ourselves and understanding all of this. Um, one of the biggest messages, and that's one of the reasons why I put this shirt on today, good vibes only. Um, and that's very true. We want to be in good spirits, good vibrations, right? But that's not humanly possible all the time. And so there certainly is, um, I don't wanna say it's a trick, but it definitely seems like a trap and I don't think it's intentional, but um, in the spiritual community or what we've all been taught is uh, just raise your vibration, just happy vibes. But no, this time, this evolutionary process that we human beings are going through right now, we requires that we feel all our feelings, that we get in touch with ourselves and what has kept us small, what has um, held us back, 
all those parts of us we're retrieving back to us. So it is important to understand what you're feeling, what thoughts are going on through the mind and to really ask yourself, um, is this true? Do I want to subscribe to this belief or this thought process anymore with um, certain aspects of life, certain people in your life? Um, that's where we're at right now as a collective. And, um, I don't want to throw any confusion in the mix. We've already all been confused by multiple sources. Um, but definitely all the messages that I keep relaying and, um, keep coming through to me are to keep going, keep going. Um, there's a lot to this process, but we are shedding old skin. We're shedding old patterns, old habits, old versions of ourselves. And even though it may feel like you're going backwards right now, you're not. You're actually revisiting parts of yourself that um, you need to let go of. Uh, don't need to, but if you want to evolve and grow and free yourself from what doesn't feel good, what um, habits and patterns or what you t tell yourself, what maybe has been told to you. Um, what, there's so much more. I'm trying to just get out all the messages that I've received over the last couple of days. But um, it's really important to don't be hard on yourself. I believe in you, I believe in me, I believe in this process. I believe that we human beings can break out of these cycles. We can break out of um, this paradigm and this control, the mind control that we um, have all been subjected to, some in greater degrees than others, but we all have been sub subjected to. And we're starting to realize, if you don't allow yourself to feel your feelings and go deeper during this process, you're gonna just stay on the surface and be confused the entire time. It's important to allow yourself to be pulled in by your emotions, be pulled in by your thoughts right now and observe. Uh, really ask yourself, is this how I want to exist here any longer? Is this how I want to be, feel in life? Um, again, I don't want to go too deep. I wanted to keep this short for those of you who have been following me, have been listening to the astrology and understanding the cycles and the, the pathways that we're all being directed through astrologically speaking, energetically speaking, to assist us in shedding the old versions of ourselves and really opening up to being receptive to the universe, being receptive to the messages, the signs, the symbology, the synchronicities that are coming through to us very strongly. Um, and not get stuck in drama and fear and all the programming that we all have been subjected to our entire lives. I think I went off topic a little bit, but it's all about Mercury. Mercury finally coming out of the shadow. This was probably the most intense Mercury retrograde that I've ever personally experienced that I'm aware of. I'm sure there have been others, but this has been really intense. And I'm getting an understanding. It's opening up to me as to exactly why that is. And um, it's actually a beautiful symphony of energies at play. Um, if you can see it from a bigger picture, from a, a higher perspective, um, we are all kind of being shown uh, the ways that have really held us in these not so good feeling vibrations and not knowing who we really are and following like just being confused it's really helping to liberate us so allow whatever is happening whatever your process is going on right now to really show you instead of getting caught up in the drama of things in the story that the mind is telling you let it show you 
how your mind has been working all these years, the stories your mind has been telling you, what is that linked to? What pain, what trauma is that linked to? Because it is, it's linked to something. This, this is why our minds tell certain stories <laughs> um, to us. And then we typically will go and tell them to other people sometimes. It's important to be vulnerable. It's important to um, allow yourself as much time and space as you need to process all that is happening right now because things are gonna be getting a little weirder and wackier in the outside world and understand that mainstream media, number one, is, is one of the biggest culprits in the mind controlling factor really trying to pull us into fear and um, feeling like we have to rely on these certain sources for our safety and our survival, which is so, so far from the actual truth. But I see so many people actually believing this and falling into this and understanding it. And I can see the tactic in it all. Um, it's a division tactic. It's conquer and divide. And it's happening. It's happening through corporations that own media. And I'm probably going to get kicked off even for talking about this. But we should have the freedom to speak what we know, what we are understanding, what we're seeing and experiencing here in a public forum without having to be censored, without having to be kicked off for speaking our truth. Um, Oh, I'm getting on a soapbox now. <laughs> I'm gonna reel it back in to just talk about Mercury, just to um, help anybody out there who might be struggling with overthinking, too much going on in the mind, and still that square between the moon, our emotions, what we're feeling, and Mercury, who is now no longer in uh, retrograde, but we've been in that energy very strongly up until recent now that square is separating so that energy is separating mercury coming into a direct motion things were are opening up becoming more clear clearer to us communications will be clearer and a lot of people will be realizing that their mind has told a complete horror story on something that actually is not anything um what you were telling yourself but there's a lot in that for you there's a lot in that for you to see why did my mind go there what is it in me that has my thoughts going there that's an important thing to recognize within yourself as well so this is all about self-awareness self-knowledge self-understanding mercury and mercury is in its home sign of gemini so we are learning or understanding the polarity of life and situations and how to balance in between the, that polarity of, you know, good and bad, light and dark. Uh, we need both, you know, pain and pleasure. Unfortunately, we need both to recognize and fully value what it is that we truly do want to experience here on Earth. I hope this makes sense. It makes sense to me, but um, sometimes when my ramblings go on, they can go in multiple directions. So hopefully this makes sense and is helpful for some of you out there maybe struggling with um, the mind and how you're feeling and maybe certain circumstances that you're experiencing right now. Know that this is just to show you um, deeper parts of yourself that you weren't, be able to, you weren't able to see, your blind spots even. Um, try not to take things personally and uh, if your mind is telling you the worst case scenario story which most of ours do as protection don't believe it just follow the flow of what the universe is trying to show you I love you all so much take good care of yourself and happy Father's Day to all the fathers out there bye <laughs>